Well, hello everyone. So in this session, I'm going to talk about lists in Python. This is Dr. Abdul Karim. Let's begin. So first, a list. How we can define a list? We can define a list simply by defining a variable and then putting the open, the square open and close brackets. And then here I'm going just to check the type to show you that the type that I created for this object L, what type of it. So as you see, the type here is uh, list. So it's as simple as that in defining a list. So now how we can add items is also is very easy. You need to call a function called append. So now I'm calling the function append and I'm passing a few values, one, two, three, four, Let's print out the list and see how the values are being preserved. So as you see that the list contains the values that I have just inserted into the list. So how we can remove a value? So in order to remove a value, we call a function called remove. But I'm going to add another value because I wanted to show you something. So append, calling append again for the value 10 and then removing value 10. So let's print out the list and see how it looks like. So I'm going to remove the other prints so just to make sure the output looks easy to read and understand. So as you see that the value has been removed is number 10. Just I want to point out this value, I mean when you call remove, it refers to an object. Okay, it's not, it doesn't refer to the index. So x not in the list. So if you try to get some hint on this function, you see that it accepts object. It doesn't accept an index. So it's not related to the index. This is why I wanted to point out this so you don't get confused. Let's clear out the terminal. There is another important function that you need to know for list which is called extend. Well, extend it takes a terrible object as you can see here in the description but let's try just for the sake of understanding let's just call or add a value 11 and see what's gonna happen. Well, let me remove the statement this statement for the function remove and try again so you see that I got an error says end object is not a terrible so what does that mean before I explain that let's put these values inside another list and see what's gonna happen so if I put another list if I define another list and and push it to the to the function extend let's see what happens so as you see here, those values have been pushed inside the list, 11 and 12. So what actually this extend does? In order to find out, let me call the function that we have just talked about, which is append, and see what's going to happen if I do the same thing here. Let me pass the values 13 and 14 and call again. Well, you can see that those values have been added up, but there is something weird here. You can see there are those square brackets inside the bigger list. So what actually has happened? Why those are added in this case, right? So actually append, it does take that those list and push it as it is inside the bigger list. Okay, while extend, extend doesn't do like this. Extend takes the list and take the elements inside the list and push them to the main list. This is why if you remember that it was calling that the object must be iterable for extend but not the case for append. So you can keep in mind append accepts elements and a list and when you push a list so the list will be taken as it is and just added up to the original list. So again, let me just explain this to wrap up this session to see those two functions. So I'm going to define a list called x and call the function append and I'm going to send another list inside 
the function append 1 and 2, 3 and 4. And for the sake of this explanation, I'm going to name the variable x1 and going to create another, another variable called x2. x2 is going to use, I'm going to apply the method extend for x2. And let's see the result, how it's going to look like. So now, if I print those two lists for x1, okay, and for x2, so what do you expect that is going to happen? Uh, I hope that you have already figured out so what's going to happen here. So as you see, for x1, I got a bigger list, and inside is another two lists. So you can think of it as list of lists while for x2 is just simply took those values from the two lists and add them up to x2 which is the bigger list or the main list okay so this would explain the difference between append and extend and i hope that has already been easy to understand the difference each one has its own use both of them are useful okay so it depends on what you are trying to achieve whether you need to push a list inside the bigger list then in this case you need to use append or just you are looking to merge somehow or just taking all the elements and put them up inside the main list so just in this case look to use extend so that is for this session i hope that it's been useful we have been learned how to use list in python thank you for watching